Hey guys, my name is Francisco Hernandez, and today's video is a pretty quick one. I just want to show you guys the ultra portable setup that I use whenever I travel, and specifically when I recently traveled to Shutterfest this past April. The setup basically consists of a softbox, a 300 watt light, my Godox 8300 Pro, also known as the Flashpoint Explorer 300 Pro, and a 100 watt light, the Flashpoint Explorer 100, also known as the Godox 8100 Pro. I am going to show you guys exactly how that looks like, all the setup combined when it's fully set up. But I wanted to let you guys know that today's video is actually sponsored by Adorama. Adorama is an industry leading retailer that has been serving photography, videography, and audio customers for almost 50 years now. Their motto is everyone is a creator and they do their best to unleash that creator within us all by providing us with the tools and expertise necessary to get the job done. I personally shop at Adorama for both the great deals on products I use and recommend, but also because of the great customer service on those products as well. If you find yourself interested in any products I talk about in today's video, then definitely check out the links that are going to be in the description area below and be sure to use those links if you decide to order any of them. So the softbox is one that was really, really popular when I posted a reel of it online in my Instagram. And it's actually a company called SMDV, but there are different rebrands. Actually, Profoto is, I don't want to say the word copied, but they were heavily inspired by this modifier for their Click Octa softboxes. But one major benefit to you getting this exact SMDV version is that you can actually change the mount. Right now I have the mount for the 300 and I can attach the 300 right now directly to this softbox, which I'll show you guys right now in real time no cuts right now for this part of the video and it's attached already it's attached and that's exactly how i used it at shutterfest i had the 300 attached to it the softbox as the main light and in case i ever needed any sort of rim light that's when i put my 100 pro right here i attached it to my manfrotto nan nano stand which is a pretty nice portable light stand I had the 100 attached to that just for some extra rim light. You guys can see some clips of that on the screen right now. And basically whenever I wanted to do a photo shoot or whenever I felt like the shot needed some lighting, whenever I was at any of the booths at Shutterfest, I definitely brought out my 300 Pro, the softbox and the 100 Pro on the nano stand. And I just used it and it was very, very portable. It probably took me about 20 to 30 seconds to get all the lighting out and then start using it. So I was very, very portable with all the different lighting that I was bringing to the convention, conference, whatever you want to call it. But like I said before, you can actually take out the mount on the softbox. So right now this is the 300 Pro's mount. I'm going to take it off. This mount right here allows you to connect magnetic round lights, round speed lights or strobes. So I'm going to go ahead and attach it right now, I think. Yeah, you just got to twist it and it locks into place. And now I can attach my 100 Pro and it's perfectly in there. And it is a good, yeah, it's pretty nice and tough in there. The magnets are not weak by any means, but I'm going to take that out. And like I said before, you can actually use the round head uh, V1. So I'm going to put that in there as well and take that out. You can also actually use regular speed lights as well. So again, I'm going to just take out the mount and then put in this mount right here, which allows you to connect regular speed lights or even mini speed lights like the i think it's called the v350 which is the lithium ion mini speed light that flashpoint godox sells so let me just put that in there and now i can just go ahead and attach a speed light into there and then i could use a speed light with this very portable softbox which i'll show you guys how to set up right now one thing i did want to point out before i forget is the only reason that i was using the 300 pro which is a little bit heavier than the 100 pro is because this one has a brighter modeling lamp and there were times where I was just using only the modeling lamp, which again is by color on the 300 and not on the 100. And basically whenever I needed just a hint of light, that's where the modeling lamp came in handy. And I only used just the lamp on the 300 Pro. So if I was wanting to shoot with just without any sort of lamp at all, and I wanted to be very, very portable, then that's where the 100 can easily attach to it. Like I showed you guys earlier, you guys can see the full width of it, the whole, you know, the light thing, light expanded and everything. You guys can see it. This is actually the 20 inch version of the softbox, but they actually have, I believe, 24, 28. I think they just released a 32 inch version. Could be wrong, but I think there are four different versions. So 20, 24, 28, maybe 32. But this is actually the double diffused white interior version of this softbox. But they actually just came out with a couple other different versions of this exact same 20 inch, but with a silver interior and a beauty dish plate so that you can get a little bit more punch, but still soft light. Again, here is the 100 Pro with the softbox. I'm gonna take out the 100 Pro and then put down the softbox and now it's nice and flat. Easy peasy. I was pretty much walking around Shutterfest the entire time with a backpack. And in the backpack, I think I had two 300 Pros 
and two 100 pros with some spare batteries for both of those lights as well. And it had the softbox attached to one side of the backpack and then the Mamamoto Nano stand on the other side of the backpack. And that's pretty much it for this video. I just wanted to show you this very portable setup because I have talked about this setup in messages on Instagram and other areas, but I never really showed you guys here on YouTube exactly what this setup is. It's just the SMDV softbox with the either the 100 Pro or the 300 Pro, and you can connect them directly to that softbox extremely fast, extremely easy. And that's pretty much it for this video. If you have any questions about any of the different things that I talked about, just drop a comment below and I'll reply as soon as possible. I'll just go ahead and just leave the video. I'll end it off probably at the end, 20 seconds, with a little bit of behind the scenes footage from the different photo shoots that I was doing at Shutterfest. Take care guys, and I'll see you guys in the next video.